I called it Linux originally as a working name. And and that was just because Linus and the X has to be there. It's Unix. I mean it's it's like a law. And and what happened was that I initially thought that I can't call it Linux publicly because it's just too egotistical. And that was before I had a big ego. The initial goal was my very personal goal to be able to run a similar environment on my computer that I had grown used to at, at the university computers. And I could not find anything that suited me for that. Right? So having been doing computers for all my life, basically, at that point I just decided that I'll do my own. Um, most of the inspiration early on came from from Sun OS, which was what um, I was using at the university at the time. Which university? University of Helsinki in Finland. What is Linux's relationship to the GNU project? Well, there's there's relationships to, to GNU on kind of multiple levels. One is just the philosophical level of of thinking that making your source open is a good idea. I mean, think of Richard Stallman as the great philosopher, right? And think of me as the engineer. There's a lot of these programs um, done by the Free Software Foundation and done by other people like Linux. And there's a symbiosis between Linux and the programs so that the programs run on Linux and at the same time and they take advantage of Linux as a platform, while Linux takes advantage of the programs by just being able to use them. What, what programs? Um, for the, the main one is actually the GNU C compiler, which without a C compiler it would not have been possible to, to make Linux or most of uh, the open programs available. Uh, Linux uses the GPL and I agree with the kind of philosophy behind the GPL. Uh, that said, the GPL itself is is not a very pretty document, which is probably just because uh, no lawyeries can ever be very pretty. Some, some people advocate that it be described as GNU slash Linux. I mean, what's your thought on that? Is that justified? or? Well, I think it's justified, but it's justified if you actually make a GNU distribution of Linux. The same way that I think that Red Hat Linux is fine, or SUSE Linux, or Debian Linux, uh, because if you actually make your own distribution of Linux, you get to name the thing. But calling Linux in general GNU Linux, I think, is just ridiculous.